Welcome to another Dr. Spotfire quick tip video. I am Jose Leveguire from Spotfire and today I'm going to talk about row level security. So what's row level security? Row level security allows you to control and restrict access to specific rows of data of your analysis, your Spotfire analysis and visualizations based on the user permissions or uh, defined criteria. So let's talk about this structure. We have Mark, he's allow to see finance, marketing and product management uh, data. Then we have Peter who has access to finance and marketing. And then we have individual contributors like Jose for finance and Nelson for marketing. So they all are going to be looking at one specific, the same dashboard, but different data. Okay, Mark can now see all different departments, product marketing and finance. Now let's log in with the credentials for uh, Peter. So I can see here that Mark is logged in, but now I'm going to log out and log in as Peter. And let's open the role level security dashboard. It is the same dashboard. So Peter now can access only marketing and finance. And finally, this, let's do one more test. And now I'm going to log in as Nelson. And Nelson only can see marketing. Okay, let's look behind the scenes. I have my dashboard here. I'm going to open my data canvas. I see that my information link here comes from information designer and the data is just like that straightforward. And notice that for every record, I have a column that identify each row with the user that is logged in. So this username has to match the logged in user that you have in the system. So now let's look at the information link, go to data information designer, and I'm going to look at the expense report information link. Notice that this information link is, has uh, some joins and, and information that comes from other table, but the, at the end of the day, we need a column that contains that user. And that's how we just uh, match the records. Another thing I did also was to filter only the necessary items that I'm interesting, interested in. Uh, this database has uh, more transactional uh, information for other departments, but I just filtered this out through this filter. I can look at the filter if I edit. I am limiting by finance, marketing, and product management, this information link in particular. I can also make a more meaningful name for this element, this filter element. But here is the key thing. Here I have the current user filter. Let's look, let's take a look on how it looks. And is basically adding this keyword, which is called current, current user. We have other information here that you can see. Uh, uh, we have other keywords that you can replace not only to get the current user, but you can also take, for example, the current group or the user domain. Those are the three keywords that we can use to create filters. And then you can have a more elaborated um, query. Now, when you create, when you add these filters in your, um, in your information link, immediately it is going to create a dynamic SQL or it's going to be is going to create this SQL. And you can see here that the filter is translated into, into this statement. I can modify this as well. There are different ways to do it. I can ignore or remove that filter and I can put that right there. There's another way I can do that. I can also put manually my filter here. I can add the, an, a filter and I just have to select the column that I want to use in this case, uh, user. And then I just put a value uh, that I want to use in this case, it's going to be the current user. And uh, when you do this, you can, um, I think it has to be with a single quotes. There you go. And when you do that, when you look at the, at the modify query, I have it again, I have this added again. So you can check if what you're doing either directly in the modify SQL or through the interface makes sense because I already have the filter and I'm just going to remove this filter from here. You can also use the current user parameter in your data connection. So I'm going to go to settings and I am going to edit and I'm going to show you how to use that. I'm going to create a new query and just to, for illustration purposes, <clears throat> I'm going to select the current user and this is standard SQL. I'm going to call it row level security. 
going to verify it and do the preview. Now you have to be careful because the current user is going to take the database that you use to log in into the connection. So you can see that the username in this case is root at localhost. So you have to take the necessary considerations when using that, when using the current user in that connection. Thank you, that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more quick tip videos. And just as a final reminder, next week is the analytics forum. So if you already registered, uh, make sure that you validate your email. There's gonna be great sessions, breakout sessions, uh, Spotfire training, free Spotfire training, and also there's going to be a hackathon so you can put in practice your skills. Thank you and see you next time.